Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to get the charged armor set here in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so there are a couple prerequisites to getting this armor set. The first being completing the quest Regional Phenomena, which is going to be to do all four of the temples. And after doing all four of the temples, you can come back to Lookout Landing and speak with Pura. You then will need to complete the quest Crisis at Hyrule. This is where you will go up to the castle and fight the final room. You'll fight a, uh, a Phantom Ganon. And, uh, and so on and so forth. Those are the two main quests that have to be done before you can even get this armor set. So don't waste your time. If you haven't done these two quests yet, make sure that you complete both of these. Now we're gonna head over to the Kakariko village, which is on the Southeastern side of the map here, indicated by the yellow dot on your screen. And just South of the ring ruins here, we're gonna be able to speak with Paya. If you don't speak with her, this guy over here is going to keep you from getting inside the ruins. So if he's stopping you from going inside, you just need to come speak with Paya. Now, after you speak with Paya, we want to work our way into the ruin up there. So we're going to come over here and climb this ladder. Once we're on this ledge, we can climb the second ladder. And then we're going to come over and climb the wall to the ruin so we can get up top. So we can climb this wall and then we can climb this rock and then we'll be on the edge. On the edge, we can use ascend and ascend our way into the ruin. And once you get inside, we want to pull out our camera app and we're going to take a picture of the text that's on the wall here. Once you grab the image, we can then ascend to the top to get out of here and we can jump back down. This time we're going to speak with Taro, who's going to be standing in the middle and he's going to decipher the text for us and then we'll be able to move on to the next step. Next, we're going to head over to the Poplar Foothills Skyview Tower located here on the southern side of the map. And once you get here, we're just going to work our way down the stairs and here next to the fire, we're going to be able to speak with Callop. Go ahead and speak with Cal through his dialogue and he'll send us on to our next location. Now, after speaking with him, we can head southeast of the Poplar Foothill Skyview Tower and down here where I've placed this marker is where our next location is going to be. You can take the tower and fly down here and you can use this campfire as a signal as you'll be able to see the smoke from very high up. So you can land right here and this will lead us into our next direction. Now from the fire, we're going to work our way across the river here and go inside this door with the light. And we're going to speak with Taro, who's just standing here by this cool little riddle. And he's going to give you some dialogue about the riddle and that there's a chest above it. So we're going to work our way up to this chest. We're going to open it up and we're going to get a charged shirt. Once you get that charged shirt, go to your inventory and make sure that you put it on as we're going to need to have all three items on to complete this part. We're then going to jump down and take a left. And all we're going to do here is follow the river. Now for our next door, it's going to be on the right side, so you can cross over to the right at some point and you will find further down the river your second door with the light. We're going to need to break the rock wall that's blocking the entrance. And once doing so, we can go up the stairs and open this chest. And in this chest, we're going to get the charged trousers. So once again, go to your inventory, put those on. And we're going to work our way back down the river. So just continue to follow the path. The next door is going to be on the left side of the river. Um, so, but it will make you jump into the water here to go back to the right as there's a wall there. But right when you get back, you can see the next door is on your left. And for this one, we're going to need a blade as we're going to cut down these vines. And once you cut down the vines, we can go inside once again, work our way up the stairs. And this is going to be our final chest with the charged headdress. But this is how to get the full charged armor set here in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.